Hi, this is Nancy from Spirit Creations with a super simple project. This is um, making pill sorters. I'm sure that you've seen the commercial ones that are in a, in a row and they have the days of the week on them and you flip top them and you can put the daily pills in each compartment. Well, I have a housemate that struggles with those because he either flips one and two come open or he drops it and they all come open and then I have this pile of pills that I have to sort through and it's not fun, um, especially when you get to little white pills and there's lots of them. So I created the system for him last year um, and it's working marvelously. Um, basically, I took his pill bottles and added some decorative paper and labeled them. Um, in the beginning, I labeled them by days of the week, but um, at this point, it seems uh, better for it to be morning and evening or morning and night because that's when he takes his pills. So it's a very simple process. Basically, um, and this is probably the hardest part, is removing the label from the bottle. Now, this particular label is coming off very easy and I like that. Just a little bit left and that will come off right quick. Sometimes it takes a little more work to get those labels off. Okay, and then I take some sandpaper and just sand not all the way around the bottle but um, about three quarters of the way around the bottle and the reason I'm doing that is so that the glue will uh, go into the grooves of the sandpaper and will stick. Okay, that's pretty good. And then also the lid needs to be sanded. Okay, and that's that's it. Okay, then just take decorative paper. Um, I happen to, of course, use old book pages that have been painted. Um, I printed this out on the computer and cut it out and the measurement this measurement is the most important I do an inch and three-fourths the reason for that is because the um, packing tape that I use to protect it is just not quite two inches and so you want a little above and a little below and so and then I did three inches all right and so I simply take my white glue you just want a light coat making sure of course to get those edges And then I'm kind of looking to see where the middle of my sandpaper is. And just with your fingers, make sure that that paper has contact everywhere with the bottle. Now these bottles tend to be a little bigger at the top than at the bottom so um, there is the possibility of little ruffles which this one didn't do I'm grateful for. Okay and then just set it aside and let the glue dry. For the lid top, again, 
you want a circle that is going to leave you enough room to put the tape on the top and have contact with the lid all the way around. Now, I just simply take my bottles and go, oh, that one's too big. And this one is too big because it's not um, going to let me enough around the edge to have firm tape. And it turned out that this little Kahlua bottle that is waiting to be um, made into an altered bottle is about perfect. And so I simply traced around the, you can see my pencil marks, traced around that. And um, now we're just going to put the glue on. And you have a little slide time before that glue sets up. And I just want it in the middle so that there is some sticking around the edge all the way around. Okay. And again, you'll want to let the glue completely dry before you um, put the tape on. Okay. And so this one has been applied and is ready for the tape. And I don't do any fancy measuring here. And I don't know if you can see, I got fingerprints in the middle of that. It's okay, it will go away um, once it's on the bottle. I put it in the middle with um, some at the bottom and some of the tape at the top and simply um, secure that and make sure that everything touches. Now, you'll notice I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little bit of a crease right there. And again, that's because what I was talking about, the bottle is a little um, smaller at the bottom than it is at the top. And then I'm really careful to make sure that this part at the top and at the bottom is nice and secure. Now my housemate has been using the one set for over a year and there's not any wear on them at all um, with this tape method. It works very well. Okay, now the lid is a little more tricky. Take a small piece of tape. You need to make sure that it covers the entire lid which I just didn't do. There we go. Okay, and then make sure and push it down really well with your fingers. And then take your scissors and carefully trim very close to that edge. Okay, and I missed a little spot right there. I think I got the rest pretty well. And then just rub that down tight all the way around. And there you have it. I do, um, for this set, I did seven morning ones and seven night ones. What that allows me to do is to set up meds for an entire week. It helps me to know what meds he's running out of so that I can order them in a timely fashion and we don't usually run out of any of his meds because I'm on top of that. Um, he is perfectly able to run these caps 
if you are making these for someone who has bad arthritis or um, just has trouble with um, bottle top lids, um, you can ask the pharmacy for snap top lids. And as long as there are no children in the household, they're happy to provide those. These, of course, are child safety uh, caps. <coughs> um, in addition to that, if you are dealing with someone who has memory issues and um, you are afraid that they're going to take two doses, just give them one bottle at a time. That way there is no concern that they are going to over medicate themselves. Um, we've had really good luck with these with the two people that I do meds for and I hope that they work well for you too. Thanks for watching. Bye.